What's going on? Today we'll be comparing the Galaxy S20 Ultra against the Canon EOS RP. I'm gonna leave the kit lens on the Canon RP and I'm also gonna have all auto settings on the S20 Ultra. Let's get right into it. I could have used manual controls on the Galaxy S20 to make the footage look a little bit better, but for time's sake, I didn't have the phone for that long. And my lighting might not have been on point, and I think the Canon might be slightly overexposed in certain occasions, but not by much. When I'm tilting my head here and there, I think, I think we're okay. Both are at 24 FPS with the S20 at 8K and the Canon RP at 4K. One thing I don't like about smartphones is that when you use the rear view camera, you can't see yourself. So when I framed myself, it wasn't exactly how I wanted it. Now from looking at the image, the 8K looks pretty soft. It looks very soft and I would have thought that it would be a bit sharper than the Canon RP. Most Canon cameras are known to have soft 1080p and 4K isn't a full sensor readout on the RP. So it's gonna look pretty soft. But in this case, it's actually doing well against the 8K on the Galaxy S20. I also have the sharpening on too in the camera profile as well. I always use neutral on my Canon cameras. I don't like the standard profile that comes with the camera. I'm noticing that the S20 is having a difficult time with the autofocus. And in my experience, I've always had difficult time with autofocus with these Samsung phones. I don't know what it is. And the focus breathing is a lot. You really do see it just pull in and out. It's almost like it's zooming in at times. But when it does lock focus, it does give a nice depth of field and you get a nice little blurry background. I mean, it, it's a smartphone. You're not gonna get an extremely nice depth of field like you would on a mirrorless camera, unless you're using lens converters or something. It might get better autofocus performance in 4K or 1080p, but I, I didn't get to try it. Only got to try 8K out. I'm scaling in towards my face here and I'm not sure how people measure the percentage. I have no idea how they do that because <laughs> every editing software is different. So I'm just gonna zoom in and we'll take a closer look. But looking at this, it looks like the Canon's image is sharper even though it's a half sensor readout, which is quite interesting. Now I'm gonna turn off my main key light and we're gonna see how well these two both perform in low light. Right off the rip, I see the Galaxy S20 trying to digitally denoise the video, probably lowered the shutter speed too, maybe around like 1 25th. And I kept the RP at 1 50th of a second, so I know that camera's not cheating. The autofocus is really whack in this case. It's making everything blurry. It's still doing much better than my Galaxy S8 Plus that I talked about in my last video, which totally got ruined in low light. So this is a much bigger improvement. The RP isn't doing as bad as I thought it was going to be. And we don't get the expandable ISO in 4K. So now I'm gonna turn the light back on and we're gonna see how well it auto exposes. And it looks like the Canon RP did a much better job, even though we're not getting face detection in 4K. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the RP in 1080p at 24 FPS and we're gonna see the difference here. Now, since we're getting a full sensor readout, you're getting some more depth of field. Now, I don't know if that's because it's a full sensor readout. I think it's because my camera is placed closer now because we don't have to deal with that 1.7 times crop. So being that it's closer, it might make you think that you're getting more depth of field. I don't know. I think it's a big controversial topic to be talking about. But as we can see, I'm much better exposed with the Canon RP because we're getting the face detection. Whenever I use 4K on this RP, I always use the one point autofocus. It seems to work fine, but it doesn't work for every type of lens. When I'm using RF lenses, it seems to work okay. But if I'm using my Tamron, my EF glass, which doesn't have a newer autofocusing system, it doesn't work at all. It'll just keep hunting. Now we're gonna scale in here and see how well it's doing in 1080p against the AK image. And here it's, it actually looks quite comparable. It almost looks very similar. I still think there's a lot of digital sharpening going on with the S20. I don't know if that's user error on my part, but that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna cut the lights off here and we're gonna see what happens here. Now the Canon RP in 1080p, it gets an expandable ISO. So we're gonna get a little bit brighter in this case, more grain in the image as well. But again, the S20 is just focusing like crazy. Now this is like completely pitch black, except that light that I have behind me. And there's a lot of grain in 1080p on the RP, but that's because it's using its expandable ISO range. So you will see more grain, but I, I mean, either one is not usable in this case. I'm kind of disappointed with the S20. I thought it was gonna be much better. And if you wanna see more videos, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.